I think the biggest misconception about comic books is that if you were to say like a comic book movie, or even if you think of a comic book, you're thinking of like a superhero comic book, when basically like comics are just literally the medium and there's all these different genres in them. Like you can get like like comics that are literally just just like dramas that have no supernatural elements or no science fiction elements or anything like that. Uh, or you, there are uh, like a lot of superhero ones and there's a re like they do dominate in terms of sales, but you can kind of find basically any type of story the same way like you could find any type of story in films. These uh, copies of New Mutants that need filing. All the characters would have like different backgrounds and there's really something I think for e everyone in such a wide variety that I think kind of anyone can get into those characters, which is probably why it's one of the most popular books. Brian Hamlin, I'm the co-owner of Silver Snail Comics. I think the biggest thing that Silver Snail does that we try to kind of set ourselves aside is just be like a lot more welcoming environment for like newcomers to comics. I've heard this criticism from other people too. It was a bit more like kind of boys clubby um, and I don't think always like the most inviting. Kind of just wanted to shift it a little bit so that it was more of like more of a space for everyone. We have a coffee shop. We're like nicely lit. Um, we try and just like yeah be a lot more friendly and kind of like have a little bit of everything, not like really niche and just not having like the elitist kind of comic shop attitude. Silver's Nail has been in Toronto. This will be our 43rd year. We'll celebrate our uh, anniversary in May. We do our annual uh, Halloween party. So this year it was at the Toronto Reference Library. Um, it generally like, there's about 600 to 700 people that come out for it. Um, we do like a full costume contest and have different performances. I think the reference library is probably the best Halloween party we've put on. It was definitely like the most successful one and the venue was really cool to kind of like be in, like having like a dance party, but all among books, it kind of worked for the vibe of the store. A lot of our clientele are like excited when they actually like recast stuff just because, I mean, generally, like if you look at the like original Avengers without their costumes on. It's like you can't even tell who's who, like everyone kind of looks the same. I think more important than that too is just people being more excited about like changes of the people who are writing and drawing the comics as opposed to what's just like on the, the actual pages. It creates a lot more true excitement where it's like, oh, the person actually telling the story is is of a, like is different than the same like six guys who've been telling comic stories for the last like 10 years.